and welcome along and welcome to this first look at the old stream farm. We've got a deer running right around us here. A little bit distracting. But uh, yeah, this is a map by Black Sheep Modding. It's available on uh, PC, Mac, uh, PlayStation and Xbox. Uh, it's a convert of a map from previous versions of Farming Simulator. I last played this in FS17. Um, I believe there was a version released for 19, but I, I, in all honesty, I can't remember. Um, but uh, yeah, it's been redone and rebuilt for FS22. Uh, and you can see over here, uh, it's got, yeah, all of the, uh, the, the new mapping techniques and everything have been applied to it. So it is looking utterly stunning. Um, it's a really awesome map, this. I uh, I loved playing this in FS17. And uh, yeah, having taken a break from it in 19, I think I'm going to be doing a series on it in 22 uh, uh, in the near future. So uh, probably starting tomorrow, I think. But we need to have a first look around it first. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to highlight on here, apart from the map itself, which we'll have a look at, uh, which is like this. It's not a full 2x map. In fact, I think I think it might be a 1x. I, it, it's difficult to tell these days, but yeah, it's, it's a fairly small map, this. Always been good for a single-player game, this. Uh, as a result, it also has some fairly small-sized fields for you to work as well. Uh, looks like our highest number is... 60? I don't see a field 61. So it looks like we've got about 60 fields on here. Uh, Purchase-wise, they are all done as separate land areas. Uh, your highest priced one, I think, is looking at something like 51 or 52. Yeah, 51 at 205,000 looks to be the highest priced field on this map. Just look at a few others around and about. Yeah, yeah, definitely looks to be your highest priced field around here. So, uh, yeah, not not a massively expensive farm. Looks like it's great for a start from scratch setup. In fact, there we go. 37 is a few uh, a few bits of a little bit more expensive by about 2000, I think. So, yeah, nothing nothing above the 210,000 on here. So, everything is nice and affordable. And uh, yeah, so that's that's pretty good setup for the map. Um, you also have something very, very cool in this yard while we're in here. I'm going to go into the construction area. And one of the absolutely beautiful things about this, uh, and Black Sheep showed this off on uh, Facebook a little while ago, all of these buildings are customizable. So everything in this yard can be removed building wise if you want to remove it and build your own farmyard in its place i absolutely love that feature this is the most customizable mod map farm we've had so far and it's great i i want to see more of this from maps um because if this farm doesn't so this is this is the cow yard if your farm don't, if you don't want to do cows, if you don't want to want to do uh, a dairy setup, you can remove this barn and put a new large barn in its place. Absolutely brilliant! So uh, yeah, wonderfully customizable map. This great to see that straight off the get go. Uh, and as I was saying before, uh, all the textures have been redone. We've got some some great texturing done on here doesn't look like a converted map this this does look like one that's been been built this deer is going everywhere uh new cow shed uh this cow shed did not look like this in the previous version of farm sim uh, or in uh yeah in fs17 certainly and i love the way that when this door opens and closes the gate opens and closes as well that's a nice little touch all of these doors open which is brilliant really well done for that setup, uh, we've got, I think this is the, what is this, pigs here. So we've got pigs in this shed here. And then I think over the far back bit of here, we should have some sheep. Or we used, did in previous versions. Ah, here we are. So yeah, and we've got the sheep shed over here, which is looking very nice as well. Again, all the textures redone on all of these looking... Looking really gorgeous. 
this map has been given a complete overhaul for FS22 and it shows it is looking really stunning I also love the yard on this the yard on this is is just an interesting yard and the fact as I'm saying that you can customize it customize it makes it even better uh we will go through all the machinery and everything here later our chickens in here as well uh but uh, at the moment you can see all of the areas you've got a workshop and uh, you've got plenty of barn storage does this door open because that would be what a fantastic new feature to have that barn door open as well that was not something that uh, it did in previous versions so it shows the level of detail uh that we uh or that black sheep has gone to on this uh this is my fourth first look video so our number plate on the discovery reflects that we're gonna jump in that and we're gonna have a drive around the map now and have a look at the rest of it as i say you've got a an entrance to the farm around this way uh with that gate opening as well but i want to head into town and uh, and show you around the rest of the town and where everything else is on this map so uh we've got yeah quite a bit of a way around there's a train moving around the map i don't believe it well actually i don't know looks like we might have a couple of places where it can be loaded up so very very possible that you can actually uh use the train on this map which is fairly brilliant uh you own field two on the left here lots of lots of nice fields that you get to start with on new farmer on here of course uh start from scratch and farm manager uh not so much i believe the farmyard buildings remain in those modes uh, but uh yeah you don't start with any land or and you don't own them or any of uh, of that we head up here and round and it's it's a nice bit of elevation around various bits on this map uh just looking wonderfully detailed as well i love the uh windmills in the background and the uh, and the now almost required uh hot air balloons we have on all the maps uh this is the shop so plenty of space for your equipment to spawn around here works very well for uh when you're starting with maybe a little bit more money and uh, and want to spawn some stuff in you also have a cell point around the back here. So in here somewhere. I think it's actually around the other side. Let's just pop around here. Really nice little French uh, town, this, on here. Yeah, cell point in here. Uh, that is for the bakeries. So, yeah. Uh, production chains built into this map as well. Uh, and you can uh, purchase them. And as you can see with that bakery, they, they are custom production chains too which is really cool now uh, great to see those on here i actually like the idea of maybe trying to do a uh trying to do a uh vineyard or something like that on here i think that may be the way i try and go on this map uh, it's fields are small enough to do it and uh it, and it's a, a good enough setup a start from scratch vineyard i think will also be a really good challenge to have a go at on here so uh yeah uh, and and how we get from beginning a map in august to the point at which you have to get to to plant everything i think is also going to be a very interesting process so I head up here and we have another sell point set up down here looks like we've got a purchase point as well for lime so into here and yeah so we've got the stone uh cell point here we've got i'm guessing this is another let's have a look here yeah certainly this is this is a cell point by the looks of things but what for biogas oh okay this may be our bga actually by looking at this so that might be the point at which you uh tip the silage if you're if you're doing that yeah i think this might be our bga uh which is quite cool uh stone picking there uh, or stone crusher there for selling and then yeah lime station here so yeah this place this place by that that kind of inference um does lime and does the lime setup 
I'm not sure that it is a biogas, but I'm I'm guessing yeah you sell silage there, which is uh, which is a different way of doing it. Head back up this way, and we are heading back across towards the town again. Another cell point in here. Uh, again, this is a production chain facility. Which one is this? This is the sugar mill. So yeah, but it's so nice to have all these bits built in. Looks like that is, well, that is the biogas plant. So a separate cell point by the looks of things for things like uh, silage. But yeah, this is the biogas plant in here. So there's a cell point for it down there. And then you've got uh, some fairly nice big silage clamps uh, down that way. Really compact and, and nicely built into this. I love how everything flows on this map. It all just flows really, really nicely and really, really well. I'm going to enlarge the map because we are down this bottom end here. There is a bit... Yeah, there's a bit down here that we've missed out on. There's a bit right down the far end of the map as well. So we'll bring this round here. And you can see the size of the fields are not are not massive. There's not a huge... You're not, you're not going to need the biggest equipment on this map. This very much feels like more of a, a single player or a, a small multiplayer farm map. Uh, you're, you're not going to be using massive equipment. You're not you're not going to be using, um, you know, your your 12 meter cultivators on here. It's it's going to be uh, a smaller medium type stuff on here. This is the uh, wood yard. So place to sell wood chips. Sawmill, that's the word I'm looking for. Uh, this is the sawmill. Uh, place to sell uh, your wood chips, place to sell your logs. And what is this? A production facility. So this must be the woodworking. Yeah, this is the carpentry workshop. Or well, the carpentry area. It seems you've got a place to sell. Is that a place to sell wood on the trains? Maybe. What have we got here? What does this do? Uh, yeah, this is the point uh, to, uh, to to hire a train. So uh, we'll return that. And yeah, we spent two pounds trying to rent the train there. But yeah, you can send wood off at this point uh, for sale via the train. So the train is fully functional on here, uh, which is really nice to see that built in. Certainly that was not a feature of previous versions of this map. That I've seen. Uh, so I like that. And look at the attention to detail on these roadsides. Lots of bushes. Lots of different textures on the ground. Uh, I, I'd say this every single first look I do. But you go into the woodlands. You have a look at the difference in textures. And the bits that they've placed on the ground and everything. And look at the attention to detail in here. Absolutely brilliant. I, can't, I cannot fault that black sheep on this map at the moment. It is just really gorgeous, this map. Absolutely loving this. What a cracking, cracking piece of work they've done. Right, uh, now here comes the train going past. I want to work out which way we need to go from here. We want to go uh, up this way to get to this area that we missed out on the way down. And this map actually feels fairly large uh, the more you get into it. There's there's lots of roads on here, lots of places to to drive around. A few places that you could possibly build a second farm, uh, you know, that, that are nicer, f nice and flat and, and would probably work fairly well if you wanted to do that instead. But as I said, with the main yard being so customizable, that's not really a requirement you need on this map. Uh, cell point there looks like a grain mill, maybe even a, a, a another production facility. What's this? This is the livestock market. So yeah, livestock purchase and looks like a cell point for bales, I would guess. 
possibly would but yeah i think that's probably a bail sell point this being the livestock market and then yeah round the other side here uh we've got a loading point for oh yeah there we go the golden field grain mill so that is a production facility uh that's the grain mill pr production facility uh points to call the train uh, we have a fuel station over here. And I think, is that a loading point for the train slightly further up? Or is that where it heads off? That might be where it heads off to the next place. Because this up here. Yeah, I think this must be the edge of the... This in, in fact, yes, this is exactly what that is. This is the edge of the map here. So that's where it heads off. Uh, I would guess to uh, a probably uh, one of the uh, Hope Bellerin or uh, or uh, Erlingrat or somewhere like that. Um, be interesting to look where they've listed it up. But yeah, uh, lots of woodlands to have a play around with in here. Uh, and as I said before, nicely detailed. Uh, works really well. Some good farm tracks as well. So it's not all main road. Uh, you can get to a lot of fields and things by, by going on farm tracks and, uh, and working through the farm tracks, which is always a very nice thing to see uh, on a map like this. Where are we headed now? So we're heading back this way. We're going to retrace our steps uh, ever so slightly. In fact, I might have a slightly different route heading back. Um, although we are going to, yeah, retrace our steps e at least a little bit. But it is a very, very nice map, this. We'll head back around this way. Very easy to get lost. Really easy to get lost on this map. Uh, but you're going to enjoy the scenery while you're doing it. Definitely. What a... I'm, I'm stunned by this. This does not look like a map that has come from previous versions of Farmson. This look, this has been completely overhauled. And this I've said this actually several times uh, about maps that have, have been in previous versions of Farmson. I, they do need to have this kind of level of overhaul in order to uh, in order to work for FS22. Uh, because if they don't, you know, they are going to struggle to uh, to work. Now, we've got a an area down here we should probably go and have a look at. We just noticed it as I'm going past. Looks like somewhere where you can fill up for the train line. That's the one thing I haven't seen so far, is where can I load for the train? And that would absolutely appear to be here. Uh, so we've got a silo in here to empty a silo in there to load from and then the other side of this i'm guessing is where you can load the train up yep there we go so up on here and we've got a loading and emptying point for the train here as well so yep train absolutely fully functional on here work looks to work brilliantly and wonderful to see absolutely great this is black sheep here have been have taken all of the things that are base game stuff and they've built it in here and they've got it all functional and it's great it's absolutely brilliant and this very much is the kind of thing i'm looking for for a map in fs22 is can can who was ever created the map a apart from making a beautiful map which they have done here absolutely can they also integrate all of the functions and features and everything into farm sim or from farm sim into the map as well and um, because if they can it's just an absolutely brilliant map and yeah this is exactly what an old stream farm is uh we've got spinnery here another production facility built in uh we've got a raisin factory over the other side so uh yeah lots of stuff for grapes uh, we've got another sell point over there what's this one this looks like um 
Yeah, this is... Oh, this is yeah, this clothing factory. So, yeah, they re and they've created custom... I don't think any of these are... I, I, I don't think this is the, the base game one from, from Hope Bellerin. I, th I think this is the uh, this is the custom one they've built. It fits. If it isn't, they've built it into the map so well, and that it matches the rest of the map. I think that's a custom one. And this is this is, yeah. Sweet and sour raisins in there. Uh, yeah. If any of these are ones that e exist in the map, uh, or exist in the game. Uh, they have just been integrated so well. Uh, we've got a sell point there as well. Uh, that's the farmer's market. Um, there. And then we're coming back up this way, yeah, and back towards the BGA here. So, yeah, we've gone in a bit of a circle again. <laughs> it's one of those things. And this is what I mean about getting lost in this map. I am absolutely getting lost in this map and having to backtrack a bit. As, uh, as I work my way back towards the farmyard. Um, because, yeah, it is that kind of map. It is that kind of map that just works to get you lost like this. Um, because there's so much to see. And it's such a gorgeous map. I mean, look down there at that river. And that, that bridge and everything. Just so beautifully made. I am I'm in awe of this map. The hard work that's gone into this is amazing. Uh, do we have anything to the north of us here? Uh, yes, we do. We do have more cell points this way. So we'll head up here. And I'm sort of meandering around the map. Uh, trying to trying to touch on everything. Trying to get everywhere. But you can see that for a map that does not look huge when you look at the, the map. Uh, it, it really has a lot to it. So over here, and this is, so this is another cell point. Is this another uh, production facility? Doesn't look like a production facility. This one just looks like a cell point to me. I can't see the spanner anywhere for it. So yeah, that is just uh, what looks like a grain cell point. Roads going over and under each other. Uh, we've got... We've got a grass field there with animal sections in it. So I'm, I'm guessing that's one of the ones where that doesn't become available and none of the features work until you buy the field. Absolutely brilliant. Um, something that I, uh, yeah, I like to see built into the maps. And then we come back this way and up here and it brings us back. Whoa, got some air in the disco then. And uh, and back down to the main farm. What a brilliant map. I I am just blown away by how good this map is. I I've been told by people it was good. I I am blown away by how good it is. That is just an utterly fantastic map. Yeah, I don't really know really what to say about it. Other than that, that is. So it looks gorgeous. It's got all the production stuff built into it. It's got all of the farm customization and uh, and placeable stuff built into it. Uh, it's just brilliant. Uh, let's have a quick look and double check that we have contracts stuff built into it. So we do have a contract peering. So uh, it does seem that the fields have those built in. You never get many on the first day. So I'm not surprised there's only one showing there at the moment. Um, what about machinery? What do we start off with? So uh, we have nothing leased. It looks like we've got some small tractors, medium tractors, uh, harvester, front loader, cars, trailers, uh, headers, plows, cultivators, seeders, front loaders, tool, and headers and weights. So small tractors, we've got a Fent Fabric uh, 511C. Uh, with yeah, we've not got any hours on these by the looks of things. Uh, John Deere uh, 7810 in our medium tractors. Harvester, you've got the Deutz Far top liner 4090H. Front loaders, you've got a uh, Schaefer 2630. Uh, for the cars, you get you get the pickup 2017, which is really quite nice. 
Uh, trailers, you've got the class carrot uh, 140 TD. Headers uh, for the combine, you've got the top liner 4090 header. Uh, you get the Pottinger Servo 25 plow, a Rabe EG3 uh, slash 9 cultivator, the uh, Nordestein HK25 plus NS3030 seeder, uh, an Albert Universal bucket, the header trailer for the top liner uh, 4090 as well. And then a couple of weights, a John Deere pickup 900 for your 7810 and a 10-winkle GMBH and Co. Uh, FGB 600 uh, kilogram weight uh, for your other tractor. So, yeah, not a huge amount of equipment, really, to start on here. Um, but I think that's probably plenty to kick you off. You get a harvest in, you get a bit more money in, and that should all work fine. I think this map is cracking. I think I think this map is really, really good, actually. Uh, I, I highly recommend it. I am going to start a, uh, a Start From Scratch series on here. I think, as I said... I'm really thinking a vineyard will fit this map really nicely. No massive fields. Uh, we should be able to, to maybe get a harvest in early on, get some money, and uh, then get our vineyard planted come the new year. So uh, look out for that this week uh, on the channel. Uh, I'm going to leave this here, though, for now. So all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel, ring that bell, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.